Hey everybody, David and David here from PaidForward.com and Upphone.com and in this video we're going to tell you about our two favorite iPhone holiday tips. And we didn't make these up ourselves, we looked at the data. So there are two articles on PaidForward.com that spike every single holiday and it's kind of funny with the two R. First one's not so funny, but the second one you'll like. So the first one is how to share Wi-Fi passwords. Yeah, so let's pretend I'm visiting your house for the holidays and I say, hey, what's your Wi-Fi password? And I say, you don't need to know my Wi-Fi password, but you do need to know the name of my Wi-Fi network. All right. So it's Meowie. So what I'll do is I'll open the settings app. I'll tap Wi-Fi mm -hmm. and I'll look for Meowie under the list of networks. There it is, I'll just tap on that. And then I'll bring my phone near David's. It says, do you wanna share the Wi-Fi password for Meowie with David Lynch? Share password, sharing, all set. Boom. Done. Excellent. Yep. Super Successful. easy to do. Yeah. No need to read the letters on the router or anything like that. Yep. Uh, no need to lead and read letters of any kind. Yeah, exactly. And nice, and, nice and simple. The, the, the next uh, article that spikes is a little bit interesting. It's uh, leave this conversation is grayed out on my iPhone. Right. People want to get out of the conversations that they've been in with yeah. their family members who they're sick of. So of course, leave this conversation. So how do we leave conversations? Well. Let me open the Messages app and yeah. I'll go to a group conversation that I have. It has to be a group iMessage to be able to leave it at all. Mm -hmm. So with text messages, you can have multiple text message groups and they're gonna be the green bubbles instead of the blue bubbles like you see on David's phone when you're sending messages. You also see iMessage here at the top. If you have an iMessage group conversation, you can leave it as long as there are more than three people in that conversation. So there have to be at least four. Right. Well, right so, now there are three. Yeah. And if it's a text message conversation, you're screwed, you can't leave it. You, but there are a couple of things you can do. Right. So this is an iMessage conversation. You've got two other people in it. You're sick of it, you want out. So let's tap the info button in the upper right hand corner. Two things to be aware of. First thing is hide alerts. And this is what you need to be aware of for the text message conversations as well. Although you can't leave them, you can hit that hide alerts button and then you're not gonna get all the pop-ups and notifications whenever anybody sends you a text message. Mm -hmm. Let's say you wanted to leave this conversation though, and it's a group iMessage. Yep. What do you gotta it's do? It's out. Yeah. What do you do? You gotta add someone else, yep. stick them in the conversation. Yeah, you gotta stick somebody else in there and make them deal with your annoying relatives. Yep. Who are we so, gonna add? So we're gonna add Nicole to this group. Done. Yeah. All right, now, all right. <laughs> now as you can see. <laughs> David through Nicole. Into the group. Sorry. As you can see now, I'll leave this conversation no longer grayed out. I can right. just tap leave this conversation. Yep. Tap leave it again. Get out of there. And I'm gone. Wow. She's not going to be happy yeah. with you for sticking her with yeah. me, but. Yeah, tap done. And now she can drive you to Florida. Yep. Go ahead. <laughs> right, exactly. You can delete the message. You're not part of it anymore. So yep. if you have a group I message going on, add somebody you don't like, then you can get out. Or you could just hide the alerts and delete yep. the conversation and hope it never comes up again. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, so those are our two favorite iPhone holiday tips. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll link to both of those articles in the description section of this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great iPhone tips.